Western Cape where we find ourselves in the charming town of Paul that today plays host to the fifth Sportsman's Warehouse Premier Inter Schools of 2023. Now, feels a bit of contact up into his opposite number. And great college getting an early penalty. Morgs. Set him out of it. Good strike. Splits the uprights and great college taken early. 3 0 lead. Daniel van der Merwe will go for poles or posts rather. That's about a correct you there, Morgs, <laughs> going for posts. Let's look at von Willing putting his body on the line and a lazy hand out by Martin Buerta. That's a good strike on it. Wind assists and up goes the flags and pole boys are oh, draw it even. Unfortunately, and great college with the opportunity, they do have a monster pack at their disposal. The driving line out more has been set. Advantage again goes away. So, oh, great college over the line, and isn't that the first score of the afternoon? Goes away of the great college captain JJ John gets up with the ball. Risk was taken and rewarded for it by great college's pack of forwards. I almost wanted to question their decision to go for touch, considering they took the three just a couple of minutes earlier. But obviously backing that driving more and once it's set so hard to stop ably controlled at the back there by jj Tehran, their captain and referee sees it over the white line five points to the visitors goes left to find billing out the back to find a man who steps off the left and then off the right playing behind that vantage line and the penalty goes away of paul boys are not rolling away says the referee and opportunity Good strike once again raises the flag splits the posts and six points plays eight and, and you need players like that in your team you know somebody to just lift it sometimes it's not always with ball in hand sometimes it's a defensive play that can really lift your side Keegan scores goes up for them back of the lineup and a great throw by Liam from Bacon great college has got the driving ball set once again and over for the second score is Liam van Bay for great college and he talked about this back walks. They will punish you if you allow them to. Your own half. Because we know Ian van der Mavra will stick it to the touchline. And that driving ball is so, so dangerous. Once again, another five points are coming from it. It's a great line off. First, Ian van Bay going to the back ball. Falls away of great college. Free ball, yeah, for van der Weesthuizen. Van der Mavra now just kicks it over the top. Peter van der gets it into his hands, into a bit of space, gets it on the inside. It's Johnny Rasmus, the big number three. Is he going to go all the way? Yes, he is. Massive tackle by Paul Boy's eye. Johnny Rasmus stopped inches short of the line. Great college needing quick ball. Keegan scores, piles over for the third try for Great College. Anyway, they would have set this crowd alive. Just but give a little dink here yeah, by uh, Ian van der Peter van der gets it off it on the inside who else than this man Johnny Rasmus I thought he was gonna go all the way reminds me of a man called CJ Funnelinda who once <laughs> done the number three jumper for great college but quick ball yeah for great college and Sears Keegan scores getting over for the third try what impressed me most there was the patience the great college showed after the line break not to throw the 50 50 hold on to the ball get the cleaners over there talked about the exciting outside bats what can they conjure up? Lewis van Willing now gets to Jonko Jong into space and he is going to finish a great try for Paul Boy's eye and that is how quickly they can turn things around. We've just mentioned his name, Jamil de Jong in space, a sight to behold. And there he goes. Another training ground move here, von Willing for the man on the cut. Bought by the great college of fence and Emil de Jong with a good finish. So, so creative from Boys Eye. We're so used to seeing him. Go Vessels. Finds Blurts. He just pops it into touch and that is it. The first half comes to an end. Great college taking a seven point lead into the second half. We've seen exciting rugby. We've seen some open running rally by both these teams but most of all we've seen a physical encounter don't go anywhere it's second half to come jj tron to the left hand side looked after by damas great college keeping it tight again 
Fanamadvi is in there with the forwards. Again, a pick and go by Great College, and it is. Great College have forced themselves over, and it's that man, John Erasmus. He's worked hard for that try game, inches short a couple of minutes previously, and this... I know you'd like to have seen it from 50 meters out, Andres, but just as effective. Great, solid base from which to work. And then it's JJ Tehran who came around the corner, lost his footing just before contact. And that's when this juggernaut pack took control. All the big boys singing from the same hymn sheet. By front of his and waiting for it is Von Villing. JC Mars into space, and this could be trouble for Great College. You don't want to give this man space. One little step, JC Mars, you see, he's still going. He's got to finish it in the left hand corner. JC Mars, what a individual try scored by the young man. Broke the first tackle, got into space. One sense they're going to be in trouble from this point. That first tackle being missed, and here he goes, JC Mars. And you've spoken about the fact that you shouldn't be given any space on the counter. And after the shoot to try and create the intercept, it was all JC Mars from just back of the 10 meter line of his own half. He's a bit of momentum for Great College. Now it's going to matter. JJ Tron into the hands of the Huda. Now space for Great College. The Huda gets on the outside of JC Mars, and that is a phenomenal finish. Great College out of nothing. Create something special and Great College gets in for their fifth try of the afternoon. It's about time we see this backline come alive. Once again, started by that man, Jean Erasmus. Steps on the inside and it's the quick ball that creates the space. Bit of a juggle there from Jan van der Merwe. But then eventually the goose step gets away from Mars. And Benito Gouda finds John. They set the, the driving more now. Fenter's got his hands on the ball again. They are inches close. Recycled. Paul Boys are doing well to stop that driving more. And Great College being stopped inches short once again. Spills out into the hands of Heinrich Tron, who just bulldozes over for Great College. And it is not Heinrich Tron, it's JJ Tron, the captain, who is over for his second score. And how influential is this man? when he gets his hands onto the rugby ball. We spoke about a captain's innings and this was definitely one of them. JJ Teron, so deserving of his second score of the afternoon. And just when the driving ball, we thought they'd get it there all the way. Well defended there by Boys Eye. But then eventually they ran out of numbers. The big boys coming around the corner. First one held up just short before the captain Took it from the base of the scrum, picked it up. Too big, too strong. Another five pointer. Now I'm in this game, it looks like the replacement, the young Fenter, who's been sent to the Sinbin. Again, quick tap. Fuller now to the left, stopped inches short, tries to ex get himself over the line, which he really does. And hard work paid off for this Paul Boys our team, Devan Fuller. Getting over for this first score of the second half. He getting over there and scoring another five-pointer. A little bit too late, if you ask me, for the comeback. But there we see it. Reaches out, scores the five-pointer. They've all run back to the halfway line. Finishing a rugby game, and it's been a fantastic encounter between two powerhouses of South African schools boy rugby. The lineup not going. The way of ball boys are great colleagues space on the right hand side and intercepted by Jamil de Jong. And can this be the drama that I've been waiting for? <laughs> Wilkes, Jamil de Jong over the try line and Paul Boys eye sneak to within nine points with a kick to come and only a minute to play. The kick is very important. He can't take it too quickly, Andres. He needs to make sure. Liam Santos just carrying into contact and now quick ball yeah, for Great College. Keegan Scars into the hands of Van der and that double punt might have been what cost him. Jamil de Jong gets the, over for his second score. The kick will determine the drama. Seeing him in space and how dangerous he can be. Breaks the first tackle unfortunately. Spools that ball. The scrum goes the way of Great College and that is it. Says 
Mr. Dylan November. Great college, 39 points to 30. What a fantastic game of rugby we've seen.